I mean, what this is, is a party ball. And that means we have another episode of Chair Boxing Part 3 with the Pilate Ball. So I'm only going to bring you two. But, and I thought about it, and I said to myself, you know what? It's good to work on that grip strength. Because as we age, get a little older, we lose the ability to have some grip strength with the ball. And that means just uh, holding on to objects. It means to gripping on to objects. That's just carrying grocery bags. And it helps to have a little bit of coordination and neurological adaptation and using both those hemispheres in a unique way. What better way than to add it to chair boxing where you get to get your cardio up, you get to get your endurance up, you get to increase your stamina, and then you also get to work on some grip strength. So those at home, you don't have a ball, it's okay. Got our stuffed animal, got our water bottle, got our remote control. There's something in your hand that you can hold on to besides your fist so that you can get a feel for the activity that we're going to do today. And again, you know who I am. I'm your host, Jesse Swart. And as you recognize the Cruiser Fitness Trainer, Silver Sneaker Flex Instructor, find out more about me, visit my website, www.jessieswart.com. And if you need American Red Cross CPR instruction, hit me up because I'll come to you as long as it's in a decent area. Um, it's within Kento. And that's what I mean by it. It's not like, you know, Idaho. I'm not traveling to Idaho. Although you might have some good uh, French fries. I'm not going to Italy. You might have some good pizza. Can't go that far. But you see, but I can bring this to you in Italy or in Idaho. It is chair boxing. Flight ball round three. Now, without further ado, there's a few things we need to go over if you're ready. My head is pain, didn't it discomfort or fatigue? Hit the pause, come back. A little bit later, make sure you have your water bottle though. And then the other thing is that virtual liability, you should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program by participating in this online exercise with me. You assume all dangers, hazards, risks of such participation. Exercises demonstrated by the instructor in this online class can be demanding. If you're unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them or choose a different set of exercises. Shoot that ball. Just don't shoot your remote control or your cellular phone if that's what you have in your hands or a can of coke. You don't want that to explode. But if you have a ball, you can do some of these things like this. But hopefully it's going to soda can and you can open it up later. Number two, I can't see you, I can't hear you, so pay attention to your form, pay attention to mechanics, lengthening, elongate that spine. You want to sit on the edge of that chair. If you're in the seated position, if you're in the standing position, which I recommend highly. If you're capable, do both, do one, do the other, do a combination. Tuck the belly, tuck the elbow and chest out, shoulders up, back and down. Ears over shoulders, lengthen and elongate that spine. A nice, good, strong strength position. You want to go shift your weight right, shift your weight to left. You're not going to really go forward or backwards in the seat, but you're going to go um, right to left and left to right. So if you're in a wheelchair, drop those barriers and those handles, and make sure you get your arms up so that you can do all these different exercises that we do um, or are going to complete today. Now, again, the wheelchair, you might have to give your arms up a little bit more because you get that wheel base. If you're a lazy boy at home, you get out of that lazy boy, sit on the edge of that chair, find another type of chair if capable or possible. And then number three, breathe, inhalation, exhalation, four, ready for seat exertion, one through ten, is this chair boxing, or is this standing boxing, and you're already going to be moving, and you're already going to be flowing, and then five, make sure you hydrate, we've got the quarter at the end of the day, but we want to get started, got that nice ball, or you have some object in your hand, and I'm going to have it in my left hand, I'm going to get those arms up, and I'm just going to jab it out with that left side. So we're going to do eight of these. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We're going to that first strength. Three, two, and one, and bring it back. Put right side. Now, no lie here. I mean, I know a ball is definitely better than a remote control or a water bottle, but five, anything would be good. Six, because you have to grip something. Seven. Eight, bring it back, switch it again. One, and it's all about the switching. Three, four, because I know you can hold something. Five, six, seven, eight, bring it back, but can you switch it over to the opposite side or opposite hand and still do the exercises? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, efficiently as we switch it back to that left side. One, two, Three, and we pick up the pace. Four, five, six, seven, switch it. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch it again, one, two, that means you gotta get the hand up, three, four, you gotta protect yourself, five, six, seven, let's do sixes now, come on, one, left side, three, four, five, six, right side, one, two, Three, the pace is picking up. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Other side, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go four with the left. One, two, three, four with the right. One, two, three, four with the left. One, two, three. Pick that pace, right side, one. Two, three, twos with the left. One, two, twos with the right. Twos with the left. Twos with the right. Twos with the left. Twos with the right. Twos with the left. Twos with the right. Last one. Speed bag. Keeping the right side. Ah, uh, how'd you feel? A little different, huh? Now, a little different doing the speed bag with this as well. But again, um, if you do have a ball, a tennis ball, a softball. Um, you probably can't use a football, you probably can't use a volleyball, they're going to be too big. Um, try to find an object that you can place in your hand because again, it is really just about having that object and being able to do movement with that object, holding on to it without losing it. So make sure you don't have no fine china, make sure you don't have anything that you don't want to break, make sure you don't have anything that is ancient um, because uh, if you do drop it, it's not my fault. Then I can't take the blame. Plus, I can't see you. So, you can't find me. I think there's on there. Good. Hold on to that ball or that object. Get that jump up going. There you go. Woo! So, hold it. Now, go out, order yourself a ball. No, go to the five and below. Go to the dollar store. Find something really small, really simple. Could be a little sponge dog if you got little animals at home, cats, dogs, sometimes they have little balls. I want theirs. Grab one from a grandson. Randall. Cross me. There you go. And now you're working the sagittal plane as you cross. Back and forth. Hold on to that ball. You got it. Cross me. Now what I want you to do is I want you to just cross them back and forth like that. There you go. Because we're going to switch it and get it into that left side. Then we're going to do that jump rope with that left side with us holding on to that body ball in the left side. In about four, three, two, and one. Bring it back and get it. But go backwards with it this time. So instead of going forward with your jump rope, we're going backwards like an arm circle. So arm circles forward, arm circles backwards. If you've done one the one way, you want to go the other direction. Good. Holding on with the left hand this time. Nice and tall. How are those arms feeling? Sagittal. Cross it. Hold on. Don't lose it. You don't want to drop it. Hopefully you're doing well out there today. Good job. How are you feeling? Opening up that chest cavity. How are arms feeling? Slow it down. Three, two, one. Drop it down to the side. Whew. Shake them off a little bit. Let's get a little shrug real quick for an eight count. Two, hold on to that Pilates ball. Three, four, and then we'll go back to some combinations. Five, six, seven, eight, and then bring it back. So now I'm gonna put the ball together with the left and the right hand, and I'm gonna go out for a six count, and then I'm gonna have a four count out to the side with the ball going into the left hand. Right? So it's going to be together, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a four count, one, with a punch, two, three, four, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, four out, one, two, three, hold on to that ball with that left side, one, two, both hands on it, now three, you can use fingers, Five, 
six, and now grip it. One, two, three, four, fingers. One, two, look at that, three. So you see the gaps, four, five, six, one. Nice grip, two, three, four, fingers again. One, two, three, four, two more, five, six, and then four out. One, two, three, four, bring it back in. There you go. We're going to press out again for six. This time we're going to go to the right side. The body ball is going to go to the right side for your four punches. One, two, three. You can't see the ball now. Four, or you shouldn't see my fingers. Five, six, one, two, three, four. You got a nice good soft grip here. One, palms are on the ball. Three, four, five, six, four out, one, two, three, four, and six more, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, last one, palms on, one, two, so the first round, we had fingers on, now we have palms on, got it, one, two, three, four, rest, shrug, one, two, balls now in the right side, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and bring them back up. You got it. Bottom lead. Ball right side. Work that body. Nice little chair box in the day. An easy addition. Listen to that music. Keep it slow. Keeping the groove going. Let's get eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now let's take one. Right side. Just hook it. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, bottom wheel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left side, one, two, three, four, nice hooks, five, six, Seven, eight, bob and weave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uppercut. One, left side, two, three, nice little loop in there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and bob and weave. One, three, I lost my count, but hey, let's get them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to that right side. Up. One, two, three, four. Left hands up here. Five, six, seven, eight. Arms up. Good job. Drop them down. Take your arms back up, drop them down, arms back up. Now you're trying to get as range of motion, or should I say, a full extension as possible on your arms as you do this exercise right here. And then on this one we're going to switch, we're going to finish up with the last five. Send you on your way, another edition of Chair Boxing, Pilates Ball, Part 3, hopefully it invigorated you, it energized you. And it reset not only the function, the posture, and your form, but it allowed you to become a little more effective and efficient, holding on to an object as you did in chair boxing. Come back to part four. Let me get you that quote. Get your hydration. Pay attention to that rate of perceived exertion and make sure you really figure out. There's some of the things I didn't really tell you to do that, but you want to make sure that you do do that. Hydrate, breathe, pay attention to your posture. 
and pay attention to that way perceived aggression throughout these exercise routines. So if you have it, do it now. Breathe. Pay attention. Fatigue exertion. Hydrate and your posture. Ah. There you go. By staying calm, you increase your resistance against any kind of storms. Say so again. That's why we have that calming music today. By staying calm, you increase your resistance against any kind of storm. Peace, my friends. My time is up. Window wall, floor, door, mark your heart, and that light be. Lamp your feet and light your path. Flyball. Yeah.